Hey there guys, welcome back to this Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2011. I'm your host, Kingdom Freak. And on the previous episode, we got absolutely slaughtered by Leo. Well, I got absolutely slaughtered by Leo. I was sad. So on this episode, we're actually going to be going on and doing some training on our Duel Runner. For our Start Dash program. Let's go. Yep, so this is just like any other race. It's just an individual time trial. And for me, the start dash pro the start dash for me doesn't work. So I try and do it as early as possible. Cause I don't exactly explain it very clearly. So because it says the second to last. So these, um, this map has a complication to it. They've got these things, which are bombs. So do not hit the, do not hit the center of them. And there was actually something before that you could that you pro that you could probably hit. Um, it actually s hinders your movement, and it. At the exact same time, it also hinders, um, it actually slows you down at the same time. So anything that looks like that, don't hit because it'll slow you down and it will hinder your movement as well, which is very bad. And also try and pick up all the DP codes and all of the card and all of the cards at the same time so I think I've collected them all oh god I'm gonna miss this oh no I'm not <laughs> and I am definitely certain that we're gonna make it Yep. No HP taken off. Oh yeah. And we obtain a couple of speed spells. One is Warrior returning alive. One is back to speed spells back to square one. And the speed spell Miracle Fusion. And we obtained DP codes, I think one is 10 and one is 100, so we got 110 in total. That's kind of sad. Woohoo! We're doing great! I'm f I'm really looking forward to the tournament now. Hmm? Oh, hey Jack! Hey Jack! Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's duel. I'll show you what the king can do. J Jack, what's up? What's up? Uh, what's up? All of a sudden, after I destroy this loser, you're next on my list. So just shut up and wait your turn. What? I'm going to start with you first. Kneel before the king. Jack. Jack? Have you taken your meds today? And I'm just trying to remember, did I change that? Okay, so this is my spe uh, Speed World deck at the moment. I will be using a different deck for a different... I will be using a different uh, deck for the next chapter because... Well, for a couple of the speed duels, 
but the rest of them will be pretty much very, they will be very easy anyway. So this guy uses so Jack as always uses a dragon deck. Oh, this is oh, I want to see how much dang it. Oh, wish I could do that. Oh well. And since I can't do anything, I'm just going to end my turn. Oh, yuck. Power Giant. <laughs> So I can't change its battle position or declare an attack on its next turn. So that stuffs me over. I can't do 1,500 that. Wow. He's actually trying to rush me down, which is a very big mistake. And since he's going to attack, my mirror force is just going to go, nope. Wow. Alrighty then. What is that card? Torrential tr Ew, yuck. That would have been horrible. Beast card. <laughs> Ah, damn. Oh, well. So it was either going to be Torrential Tribute or Bottomless Trap Hole that was going to destroy my Red, dra red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. That is really concerning. So it has to be summoned first, which is kind of stupid. Very, very scared of 
any card that he has in his deck at the moment. I think they might be level 8. They might be level 8 or higher monsters. I'm not sure, but... That's what I believe. Guessing he's gonna draw a card, yeah. God, I hate that card. Stop showing me that card. I think I've tried this duel three times now, and it's just so annoying when he sh reveals it. I want at least a speed spell. <laughs> Okay then, I get what I wanted. You would. I've got way too much of a full field at the moment. Definitely going to have to do this. Summon speed is not going to really do anything, so... Let's get rid of this one. Because I think I know what he's going to do this turn. So, Tribute was a... was a uh, card that I put into the deck just because it's a very good card. Yes, thank- oh. Do I want to take control of it? No, that's not worth it. We're both just trying to draw from our decks. <laughs> it's probably going to be whoever decks out first. Okay, let's see. Wow, really?
Okay, someone finally gets a monster that they can play and attack with. <laughs> I just realized... Next turn... Let's see what he does next turn. Come on, Tribute. Dang it. Nah, it's not really worth it. If he summons a monster, it doesn't really matter. But if he tributes a monster, like that... Intercept. I'll have that, thank you. Oh, that is so trolly. <laughs> Intercept is such a troll card. Okay then. That's kind of sad. Um... Uh, okay? <laughs> oh, I love that. This is going to be annoying for him. Yeah, sorry for this uh, duel to be taking so long. So I'll actually... Um, as soon as this uh, duel is over... As I'll skip until this uh, duel is over. So I will be back when I... I'll be back when you guys have finished. When... I'll see you when we uh, when we finish this duel, because I think I am going to win this. Because now I've got the, a huge card advantage at this point, even though I can't summon anything. Oh wow! I've got a second intercept.
Okay, guys, I am back. So I am going to win this turn, thankfully. <laughs> Last turn, I actually I was actually thinking, okay, I might win this turn, but I will actually be winning this turn. So I'm going to attack. Yeah, I've won this. So any so the tips for this guy is just try and control him as best you can. That's all I have to say. If he gets un if he gets lucky, you won't be able to control him. If he gets unlucky, he you will be able to control him very easily and then you can just rush him down. You could just even rush him down if he gets unlucky. So, why was Jack so aggressive? Jack are you okay? Um... What? What the heck is this? A robot? Jack? Huh? You got a twin? I heard there was a fake me running around, so I came here as quickly as I could. I don't care if this thing is a robot or not, I won't stand for my good name being ruined like this. What's with that door, bot? What a useless piece of junk. We were better off with the ghosts. At least we could make a ton of those. Huh? The circuit has appeared. <laughs> Just as I expected. We will complete the circuit. It's the only it's only a matter of it's it's only a matter of time. That is why we have to improve our goats before the WRGP. And our final chapter to the future, the state of the WRGP and the world. Time passes and the day of the WRGP finally arrives. Duel fans across the globe, this is the moment you've been waiting for. You've marked the calendars and the day is finally here. Today is not the end, but the beginning. The WRGP starts right now. Even though he doesn't say right. First, the rules. The WRGP is a three-person knockout tournament. Defeat the other team to win. When a duelist changes, cards on the field will stay, but the graveyard and your hand will not. Today begins the qualifying round. Two victories are required to make it into the victory tournament rounds. The first matchup is... Team Unicorn versus Team Twilight Moon. Remember, this moment as this first match will likely go down in history books. I can't wait! The WRGP has started. We're in the opening race. We won't lose until we duel Yusei and the others. We won't we won't lose when we duel to them either. Make your final adjustments to your deck so that we don't. Tell me when you're ready. Okay, so I'm actually going this is actually gonna be the end of the episode because as soon as we go, we will actually be at the WRGP and starting our first round. So I'll see so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to to leave the awesome to keep on coming on with 
to get my content viewed and so that you guys can see more content more quick more quickly so i'll see you guys in the next episode where we verse team unicorn so i'll see you guys then